Hello Scorpio, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. This is Riza here. I trust you guys had a wonderful October and are gearing up for November. Remember, Thanksgiving, fun times with family and friends. That always helps us feel better. Keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sun sign of Scorpio. So if you would like a more in-depth reading, then go ahead and listen to your moon sign as well as your rising sign because that will give you some more information about the situations that you will be dealing with during the month of November. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, please check the links that will come up at the end of the video. I think um, YouTube has done something new. Let me know how it goes. See if you like it with the annotations. All right, Scorpio, right in the center of your reading for this coming month, you have the Judgment card. So there's some things that you have regretted doing in your life, um, some choices that you have made, some situations that have now gone by in your life, and you, in hindsight, can see, shit, I wish I hadn't done that. So there's some things that may be coming back into your life in order to revisit it, in a sense, to see if maybe you'll do something different this time or if time has already gone by. Too much time, too much water under the bridge, and you don't fall for um, whatever situation is coming about again. But the angels are trying to call you out to see if you're interested in a second, in a second time around or a, a second chance. There's a a revival. There's a a rebirth of certain things in your life that you may have missed some time ago, and it's coming back around just in case if you're interested. Right above you, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some changes that are coming about in your life due to spirit, due to the energies that are around you. You have, you have more than anyone else so far gotten a bunch of the major arcana cards in your reading. This is right above you. It's the Wheel of Fortune that signifies changes that are coming. I know that we're changing seasons, we're changing the time, but there's going to be some significant changes in your life when it comes to some of the choices that you have made in the past, some of the regrets that you have. You're going to get another chance to revisit them to see if maybe this time you'll do something different. Right underneath you have the Fertility card, which is the card of the Empress. So there's new love coming in. This love will offer a lot of money that comes with it or stability that'll come with it due to joining up with others in order to achieve more abundance in your life so these changes due to what you have already gone through will bring a lot of abundance in your life so keep that in mind for some of you it'll be a pregnancy if you are in a committed relationship if you guys are single it may bring a new person into your life so keep your eyes open for that scorpio the energy that's been blocked for you guys is feeling happy when it comes to your family, when it comes to your home life. You feel like you're not there yet, like you're missing something, a handle on your life. Because this is the energy that's being blocked, the queen of coins. So it's either someone that's an earth sign that has been blocking you somewhat from getting what you want in life. And that's Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Or you feel that you are blocked when it comes to your abundance to a family ho uh, home, a family life, your home, your children, your money. You feel like it's being blocked in a sense, but it's about to unblock because these changes that are coming in your life this month are going to change everything, and it's brought on by spirit. You're just going to be there doing your own thing, and all of a sudden things are going to start changing, and thank God because I know that you've gone through some rough times, Scorpio. You have a wish that's coming. As you move forward into the month, you have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups signifies something that you have wished for. Something that you have put out there to the universe. And the universe is going to bring it to you. Okay, that's probably part of these changes due to the judgment. Due to the things that you've gone through. And you're atoning. And they bring you a wish. Because they, they know that they have to bring the balance. You know, when you're down, they'll bring something to balance you out. To help you level out again. Because you've gone through a lot of things. For the moment, you are protecting yourself, Scorpio. You've gotten the Nine of Wands. That tells me that you are doing your own thing, but you are completely protected. So you're going to have to let your guard down a little bit if you do want to allow someone new into your life. And if you are in a relationship, you need to stop guarding your heart so much because you're not letting your partner in. You have wished for things. The universe is bringing it to you. But if you keep blocking people from coming in, then the universe will just see it as you have enough. You don't want any more. And it will stop giving you the things that you have asked for. For the moment, 
you are getting some good things, but let down your guard a little bit, Scorpio, so that you can continue to receive from the universe. If you are in a relationship, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow your joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So if you're not, uh, if you're not happy and you don't know what's going on, please continue to tell yourself that you deserve to be happy. Why not? We're all the same. We all deserve happiness. We all deserve a relationship. We all deserve good things to come from us, to us from the universe. I guess I've been talking too much. Stuff starts to come out backwards. Dyslexia. Hmm. So please open up your heart because you do deserve certain things. If you are single and looking, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations. So you may already know this person. You may already be talking to this person. You're, you and your friends, as you can see here. The person is not alone. And the angels have brought that person into your life because you have wished for it. Because you have asked for it. You don't want to be alone. So there's someone that you're already chit-chatting with. And keep an open mind. Because even though it may not be exactly what you have asked for, it is part of what you have asked for. Okay, sometimes our soulmates aren't exactly what we think they should be. They're quite the opposite. And like the lotus, you're coming out of dirty water. Scorpio, you're blooming. You're starting to come out of all of this mess that you have been in or all these struggles that you're going through when it comes to relationships, whether you are single or in a relationship. It's felt very dark and very deep. But there's something beautiful that's being birthed because of it, okay? So keep moving forward, Scorpio, because wonderful things are about to happen in your life. For some of you, you're going to be walking away from situations that no longer make you happy. You're going to start following your guides. They're right in front of you, and they're saying, let's go. You've tried and tried, and this is it. You cannot try anymore. So it's time to change your life. It's time to move forward with your intuitive guidance, because you know that you, that you have been receiving it, and you're... You're turning around and you're saying goodbye to everyone and everything that you have done up to now because you want to be happy and you want your life to go in a different direction. So this is not everyone, but this is some of you. And you'll know which ones I'm talking to when you see the card. Self-forgiveness is very important because sometimes we really beat ourselves up because we think, oh my God, if only we hadn't made that choice. Look at the things that have happened to us ever since then. It's happened because these are lessons that you were supposed to learn. And not anything else. Never do we make the choice that is incorrect. We make the right choices when we're supposed to. We usually weigh them out. The lesser of the two evils. And that's the direction we go in. Because if you'd have gone in the other direction. Shit would have been worse. And that's the way you got to think about it. Our higher self will help protect us. Whether we think we're doing it or not. It will help guide us down the path of less resistance. Down the path that, that's going to hurt less in the long run just keep that in mind but you need to forgive yourself and know that you did you did the best that you could at that moment because of the choices that you have made previously all right so you need to keep going these are lessons that you are learning there's no right or wrong here there's only learning or teaching you're either learning it or you're teaching it because once you learn a lesson no matter how good or how bad it is you're going to turn around and you're going to teach someone else even if it's someone that you just happen to pass at a grocery store. And all of a sudden you, you decide you're going to tell them the deepest secret of your heart. Because you want to. Something compelled you to do so. And it's because that person was hurting and that person needed to hear exactly what you said to them. So don't ever be afraid to share yourself with others. And forgive yourself because truly you are a spiritual being. You can't do wrong. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. Okay, and keep moving forward because that's what you're being asked to do. All right, guys, I do love you and I hope you've enjoyed your reading. Please write to me and let me know what you think of it. If you would like a private reading, again, check the links and uh, write to me at my address. Bye, guys. Talk to you next month.